What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with an Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to quickly open up multiple different viewports inside of Fusion 360 and how to use that to help you with your modeling. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is my example model from my lightsaber speed modeling video, which I will link to in the notes down below. Um, but sometimes when you're working inside of Fusion 360, you wanna be able to look at things from more than one angle at once, right? Because right now what we have in Fusion 360 defaults to this, I believe, we have a single viewport showing our object and we can adjust the view by clicking on the view cube or the home button or whatever we want to do. However, sometimes flipping back and forth between these different views can get a little bit frustrating and a little bit time consuming. And so what we can do instead is there's a button down below for viewports. And if you click on this button for viewports, there's an option in here for multiple views. So if you click on multiple views, you can see how what this does is it splits your viewport into four different views. So it gives you a viewport here, 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 and here. And uh, so first thing to notice is notice that when I mouse over things inside of my model, they're getting highlighted in every one of these. So any changes you make are going to be live across this whole model um, when you make those changes changes. Um, but for each one of these, you can customize the view. So you can see how by clicking inside of this, I can adjust this view left or right or up or down, or I can also use the view cube in the upper right hand corner. So, and that is different for each one of these. So for example, let's say for this image, I was to click on this little corner box right here. So, or if I was to click on this corner box right here, you can see I can use the view cube in order to adjust the view in one of these viewports without affecting the others. So for example, if you wanted like a front view down here, you could just click on this and you would just click on the right view and that's gonna pop up. And notice that I'm able to zoom in on that and notice that the zoom is staying the same between this object and this object right here. So you do need to be a little bit aware when you're in these, um, these straight on views that your view or your uh, zoom is going to be linked a little bit. But one of the cool things about this is not only can you adjust your camera location when you're inside of these different windows, you can also adjust your display settings. So if I was to click and when you adjust your display settings, it's gonna adjust whichever window you've clicked into or whichever one you're focused on. So if I was to click on my display settings, for example, and let's say I wanted to change this one to a visual style that's just shaded that doesn't show my uh, edges. You can see how I can adjust that style over here while these others are staying the same. They still have the edges. So each one of these can be set differently depending on what you want. So you could also set this to like a wireframe over here, but you could leave this the way that it is. Each one of these can be edited differently um, depending on what you want. So you can set all of these displays up to kind of show things however you want to show them. And so let's say, for example, that we wanted to come in here and we wanted to add a plane that this was going Going to be sitting on. So let's say we wanted to add a plane below our lightsaber image. And I can kind of look at this to glance at it and see kind of where that plane would be. Um, but then if I was to add a sketch in this view, so if we were to click in here, click create sketch, and we wanted to add a plane. So first thing, if we add a plane, you're going to notice that this plane is going to be right across the middle of this lightsaber, which is not necessarily what we want. So um, instead of doing that, let's say that we wanted to come in here, we could use our front view in order to set an offset plane. So we could click here in order to select our first plane, and then we could move our mouse over into this other view and drag this down below our lightsaber to make sure that our construction plane is gonna be created below that. And then we can just click on OK. And I'll need to turn that particular construction plane on, but you can see how now I have a construction plane where I could add something below my lightsaber that I was able to place based on this view while I was actively working in this one. And so now, if I was to go in here and create a sketch based on this new plane, so get rid of this. Let's say we were to just to set a box in here. It's like this. You can see how this is active in here and that plane is getting created down below in your front view. And then if we were to extrude that and we'll need to turn that sketch back on. 
and then we can select it. But you can see how I can extrude that down inside of this isometric view right here. And you can see how thick that's gonna be over here. So I can adjust that and I can actually move back and forth between these different views while this is active in order to adjust this. So if you need something that lets you look at things from a different angle, this can be a really great way to do that. So we'll go ahead and set this to negative two and hit the enter key. And then once you're done, and once you don't want these multiple views anymore, what you can do is you can click back into the uh, viewports tab and you can click on single view. That'll take you back to your original view that you had in here. So now we only have one view in here instead of multiple different views. So you can toggle back and forth as many times as you want. So one thing to note about this is this is a little more performance intensive. So things do run a little bit slower because it's basically um, showing these things four times instead of one time. So if you're doing complex stuff, you may want to consider turning those viewports off before you do that just from a performance standpoint. But this is a great option to have for being able to go in here and look at things a different way really quickly. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you been using this function? Is it helpful to you? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.